And welcome back, everybody. You know, I'm the Dr. Bob Lee from 107.5 WBLS, and you are watching Open. Our next guest is a fashion stylist, a fashion creative director, and founder of uh, TSD Image. He's here to share his journey as a wardrobe and fashion stylist and costume creative director to highlight the work that he is doing with uh, his company, TSD Image, and much, much more. So please welcome to the show, Marcus Blessing Game. Marcus, welcome. Doctor, thank you for having me. God bless. How are you? God bless. We heard so much about you, and you, you know, we love all the work that you're doing in our community. You are really, you stepped up your game, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. So tell us how you got into it. How did it all start? Give us some beginnings. Well, um, I think the, the most important part was the in, within the culture. I was um, doing fashion styling and had the opportunity to work with some of the record labels. And uh, that worked with Word Up magazine, uh, which is also uh, one of the magazines that my uh, family did distribution for. Um, so I was able to come in for a creative side and work with uh, Ernie Pennaccioli, um, Ronnie Wright, Tony Kudajar, and um, you know do some spectacular work with some of the artists for that magazine at their beginning stages. That, those magazines then transitioned and opened up other magazines such as Today's Black Woman and Hype Hair, which I became fashion stylist and fashion editor. Uh, for those magazines and eventually opened up a magazine called Black Men Magazine and I became the editor-in-chief of that one. Yeah, and we heard a lot about the work that you were doing with the Word Up magazine. Uh, how has it worked for you as a freelance stylist? How has it impacted uh, uh, your growth in the industry? Well, you know, the be beautiful thing about it is that, you know, um, we were able to impact the culture uh, from the perspective of the advertising departments started paying attention to me because they needed someone to deal with the fashion community that was a part of the culture and understand and understood both sides so that's initially how i was uh hired to be in those magazines or work with those magazines is because um, it was the importance of having someone in place to you know communicate with the culture and also talk to the, the advertisers and let them know that we are reaching a community through us, you know, but at the same time with the talent of, in the imagination of fashion style and to go with that, you know, it became a perfect combination. Uh, it also increased their readership uh, or the distribution from, I think it was 150,000. So some of the work I included increased it to 250,000 copies distributed yeah. when I. <clears throat> That's what's up. And you know, see, you are participating, and people pay attention to people who participate. <laughs> you are in it. You're in the game. Uh, how has your father's career in, in publishing, in that publishing space, impact your career? Oh, I mean, 100% my inspiration. Um, you know, uh, just knowing the designers and, you know, just being on the inside. I mean, I really didn't expect to follow yeah. this career, follow this choice. Uh, there's a gentleman by the name of Ken Wilson. You know, he was at MCA Records, he was a few, and I think he was at Columbia yeah. before that. Um, you know, we were just hanging out, basically, and then um, I wound up taking Ken to some of these fashion shows, and, you know, the designers would invite us backstage, and, you know, Ken was, uh, he was you know, amazed by it, because, you know, he's in the music industry, but not necessarily the fashion industry, to, so to be invited not to not only sit front row but also visit backstage of a real fashion show you know um he thought that was very impressive so when we had the conversation about what i might be able to do in the industry he said oh the only thing that you should do is fashion that's your thing make sure you do anything in this industry music industry it should be fashion yeah well that piece of advice was probably one of the best pieces of advice that i received because uh, just in the beginning stages, I was able to work directly with Clive Davis, and that was with the R&B group Next. Uh, they needed somebody, they needed a direction, and, you know, KG, of course, also being from New Jersey, um, Clive had an idea of a voice to men, very clean cut thing, but uh, the guys had a different idea, so it was a little more street edge, a little more street style, and yeah. that had not become popular as it is now, but... I had a pulse on it already. 
in combining high fashion with street style. Yeah. So came together with that. You know, uh, I put together brands and, and different things that made sense for that kind of look. They loved it. And, you know, you see the album cover, Bud Love and all that, videos and stuff. That's me. And you're doing it, I tell you that, you know. Thank you. Who are some of the high profile um, clients and celebrities that you've worked with? Um, well, I mean, uh, you know, there's a, there's a pretty nice list. Um, Alicia Keys, Vivica Fox. Nicki Minaj, um, you know, Maya, Kelly Rowland, mm -hmm. Akon, Serena Williams, uh, Jada Kiss, Corrupt is mo mo my most recent. Um, Dre and Michelle was a client that we started out styling for the magazine. And then we entered a kind of a more direct business deal. And I got her signed to the show, uh, Basketball Wives LA. Uh -huh. uh, we, submitted, we submitted a reel, and through that reel, the show decided to, you know, book her for the show, or, or Shed Media decided to book her for Basketball Wives. Yeah. And from that point on, um, there's a there's a portion of the show that has me styling her on the show, so I'm actually appearing on TV for my first time. There you go. That. All right. <laughs> how, did that, you know, how did that work Zach, out for you? Zach, Zach might be coming my way too. <laughs> pay the dues. Uh, but that was, you know, that was a pretty good thing, you know, uh -huh. because it showed me that what I do in media and how I increase and improve images, it works. Yeah. You know, so I believe yeah. in it and wholeheartedly. And that's why, you know, I continue to do it to this day. And you worked with uh, Monet Truitt. Um, so, yeah, most cl current client is Danielle Monet Truitt. Um, she's uh, on Law and & Order and uh, she plays one of the police captains. And... Um, we just, we, we're doing her press and media right now. Uh -huh. um, you know, so she's the law and order is going to be showing overseas. So we're working on doing the overseas magazine press and media for her. Uh, be on the lookout for a uh, Sheen magazine cover that we uh, recently shot. So that should be coming out soon. I haven't gotten the dates yet, but, you know, it should be on the Sheen magazine site. All right, woo, we got the we got the scoop, guys. We got the scoop, <laughs> the inside scoop. Thanks for letting yeah. us know. And when it comes out, just uh, hey, give us a call. Yeah, I, I need to come back on. <laughs> I need to come back on, and, and yeah. you know, and, and on the next issue for In Black Magazine, which is my uh, you know current magazine that I'm working on, I need to get you on the interview. You got it. I'm with you. I'm with yes. you. Yes. We, for Fashion Week, New York Fashion Week, September 11th, we're actually doing the confessional showroom fashion show. First uh -huh. ever fashion show for, for the confessional showroom. I'm writing that and down. That's going to be uh, for the confessional issue of In Black Magazine. So Black Men Ma In Black Magazine is partnered with the confessional showroom to do a complete issue of all the designers that they represent. And we're doing a whole fashion show. So September 11th, you should see that. It's going to go through. It's going to go through the roof. We're going to know. shut New York oh, down. <laughs> I could imagine you're shutting it down, huh? <laughs> you got to shut New York down. <laughs> there you go. Hey, that's what it's all about. You got to let people know. Let them feel you. Let them hear you. I always say that. Amen. Let them feel you. Let them hear you. Um, what can you tell us about your venture into uh, gaming, advertising campaigns? All right. So um, I I worked off and on with the advertising department of Sprayground, which is a, you know, kind of a streetwear brand, skater, backpacker kind of vibe. Yeah. They do a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of, lot of bags, a lot of backpacks, a lot of accessories. And they just came out with a Call of Duty Spray Brown collaboration. And the gamer chair, to me, is, the, is one of the hottest items they have. What? You know the game of the gamer chair. Yeah, yeah. And they got, this gamer chair looks like the cockpit of a B-52-7 bomber. Get out of here. Like, so I know, like, for this, being a part of that campaign was probably a, uh, a, a great highlight for me because it represents today. It represents today's, um, you know, today's genre, today's, you know, market in terms of, you know, the gamers, the Twitch, uh, you know, the, the, the skaters. It's all encompassed in, 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 in one genre, you know, and it also extends from our culture, you know, because we came up, we were part of the invention of hip hop, yeah, which is yeah. our culture. 
culture as we grew up. So now we're watching our culture extend to something more technological, more and more advanced. And, and that's what you're seeing now between, you know, the, 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 the blending of all the cultures, skaters, hip hop and technology all coming together and making something. You know, these kids are making a million dollars just to play a video game. Yeah, you know? yeah. I see them coming yeah. to those little stores with their backpacks. They're ready to go. They're sitting yes. there. They're making a whole lot of money. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, with that being said, like, look, like, you know, I'm I'm here with it. Like, I, yeah, I hear, you know, uh, we had a conversation with, uh, you know, my brother, Dr. Bongo. Uh, and uh, he uh, we were talking about old school. You know, I said, look, the generations need to embrace each other. Yes. Yes, yes. The new school needs in, you know, the old school needs to embrace the new school. Don't talk down about the, the new school yeah. because the new school has the technology. And to be honest with you, I did, but fun thing I asked them, I said, look, I said, um, how did you, how did we arrive? How did we get to the location today? How do we arrive? Do we arrive in a car or do we arrive in a horse and buggy? <laughs> and, and as you were on your way, did you pass by any horse and buggies? No. So, <laughs> future is on its way is here yeah okay so don't sleep on it because it's coming there's nothing that we there's nothing that's gonna stop it that's right yeah, just that's like right. nothing that's gonna right. stop the horse and buggies from not being there guess what the future is here embrace it and the same thing the younger kids can embrace our soul and our spirit because everything's digital like he plays an instrument doc, doc bongo plays instruments yeah but now looking at everything from uh, Everybody's playing these, you know, they're using keyboards, they're using technology, using a computer. Right. I said, right. you should embrace that as much as they should embrace. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because I have to turn you on. Oh, yes. I, I have to turn you on to the Hip Hop Alliance with Curtis Blow and all those guys. I'm, I'm going to get you on, on get you on the phone with them. And uh, maybe you. guys can connect in a, in, a, in a certain way, bringing the old oh, and new okay. together. Absolutely. Like, you know, I'm all about the technology because, you I mean, fashion is always about discovery, growth yeah. and, yeah. you know, bringing bringing new things into the world. And technology is definitely a part of that. Yeah, you got it. Listen, we got to connect. Um, give us your website before we go. Yes, uh, it's um, in black magazine. Dot Q U E dot T M. In black magazine dot t u dot q u e dot q u e dot m. You say it one more time by yourself. Okay, so it's in black magazine dot q as in question mark u u as in under e as in every dot t as in Tom mm -hmm. m as in Mary. There you go. And we'll put it on the bottom of the screen, of course. Thank Excellent. you so much. Dr. Bob Lee, in yeah. the building. you are a legend, and I am honored to be in your presence, my brother. And, and I can't wait to do some more things with you. We'll hook up. I'll give you my number and everything after we get off the air, okay? I would love that. Thank All you, right. doctor. You got it. Marcus Blassingame, fashion creative director, stylist, and writer. And so many irons in the fire. We love what you do. Technology is it, and you're in it. The fashion world, the whole nine. And we'll be looking forward to checking out what you're going to do on September 11th. I ah, can't wait. Yeah. Yes, All we're right. going to shut down New York. You, you come, you're shutting it down with us, Doc. All right. I'm with you. All right. Excellent. We'll, we'll take a break. I've got more open coming up next right here. Kick off your shoes and relax your feet.